My Son, starring James McAvoy and Claire Foy, the film was directed by Christian Carion and is a remake of his own movie shot just a few years back in France. The premise is quite simple. McAvoy and Foy play parents of a young kid who mysteriously disappeared from a summer camp one night. The police initially tries to investigate, uh, then they're told to drop the case and the father begins uh, suspecting a kidnapping. But he ends up being on his own trying to figure out uh, what happened and hopefully find his son. There is a gimmick though. Um, see, the film was shot with James McAvoy not being provided a script. Uh, all the other actors had scripted lines, dialogue uh, and behavior whereas he was only given the background of his character and then some limited direction as to you know what was going on in the scene. Not sure how limited or how specific, uh, apparently though all of his dialogue was improvised by him. The idea was to try this experimental performance where he needs to think for himself what the character would say or do in any situation and then just do that. So it must have been fascinating as an acting exercise, but the big question is how good uh, is it as a film uh, from the perspective of the audience? Well. It works somewhat. Um, the film certainly doesn't like, fall apart because of the, the gimmick. I think it manages to stay coherent throughout. McAvoy is in fact quite believable in the role. Uh, but there are noticeable issues with the, uh, with the pacing, the flow of the film. Um, I think it really showcases how much well-scripted dialogue is required to make the movie flow nicely. Um, in My Son, I think that's very uneven and even though some of the dialogue heavy scenes are improved through editing, there are just moments when the pacing of the story gets a little bit awkward. Um, also, I think not providing your lead actor with the script required the story to be pretty damn simple. So, you know, don't expect any, any writing fireworks here. There are moments which are tense and gripping, uh, but there are also sections which I found a little boring. Um, I liked the use of Scottish landscapes in, in these wide sweeping establishing shots, so, so the movie is kind of pretty to look at at least. Um, and at the end of the day, yes, as I said, the film doesn't fall apart, it stands on its own two legs, but the problem is, does it really have anything great to offer, any particular reason why you would watch it over other similar movies? And I think my answer is no, not really, not necessarily. It's an interesting experiment, it proves that it's possible to make a movie this way, but doesn't really justify it in a strong way.